Hello, my sewing friends. My name is Diana and I am the Wondering Sewist. And today I would like to come to you with a pattern review of Simplicity 9325. Now the one that I have is in the sizes 10 to 18, and I chose a, to sew, sew a size 16. Um, if you look at the measurements on the back, for the size 16, it says that your bust must be a 38, but my bust is 42 and a half. Um, my high bust is 40. And my full bust is 42 and a half. And for reference, I'm five feet, five inches tall. So I'm wearing the dress right now and I have plenty of room in the bust and the shoulders actually fit pretty nicely with no uh, adjustments. The, um, the bust, the full bust measurement Finished garment measurement for the bust comes out for a size 16 to be 46. And at 42 and a half for my full bust, I felt like that was plenty of ease. So I think I could even have sized down another size and maybe that would have taken care of this little bit of gathering I have here but all I have to do is just pull it down and it, it smooths out. I love the neckline. I think this neckline is one of my favorite necklines I've ever made. I really like this. I think this is very flattering and very pretty. Um, I chose to sew mine in just a viscose, just a very lightweight viscose and I chose to sew the um, flutter sleeves, which I love the way the flutter, flutter sleeves fall. I think that that is very, very, very pretty. So um, there was a bit of a problem while I was sewing it, inserting this piece and the directions have you basted in early in step four. But then when you come to do the, this facing, later on in step nine, you have to take this out. Just get, you're only just basting it in with a very loose stitch just to hold the bodice together. And then you have to take those stitches out and then Fold the facing back and insert this little piece between the layers of the, the outer bodice and the facing. They just sandwich it in between. Um, the directions are not explicit in, in that particular place that that's what you need to do. So at first it seems confusing. But then I watched a video made by um, So Natural Dane, Natita. She showed how she did it, how she had originally basted it in and then took it out. And then she um, sewed the facing down just above this spot here. And then she ironed all of the um, facing to the inside and um, the seam allowance to the inside. And then she just sandwiched this little insert in between the layers. And um, that worked beautifully. Thank you, Natita. You rock. Um, I really love this dress. I'm going to insert some video uh, of me wearing it so you can see the full effect now. So here I am in the dress giving you the twirl. You can see where the uh, midriff piece fits nicely right there and it fits it hits right at my smallest portion and it goes under my bust where it's supposed to then my flutter sleeves I love them they're so beautiful and this is the inset piece 
It needs a little pressing, but it looks very nice. Now this dress has no closures. It just has the V in the back so you can get it on and off. And I didn't tie a bow, I just tied a knot in the ties. Now I don't understand why there's a center front seam. It has you cut two pieces and sew them together. I think next time I will just cut that on the fold. It doesn't seem to have a purpose, but I love the dress. So the length comes out to be just below my knee. I'm five foot five inches tall. So if you're taller than five foot five and you still want it to be a midi length, I would consider lengthening the skirt. For reference, I only took a one inch hem. And since this dress is for church, I didn't want to make it uh, showing my knees. I wanted to be able to feel comfortable sitting in church or any church activity without um, worrying about um, feeling modest or dressed nicely. And the other thing I love is this neckline. It doesn't show anything, but it still is complimentary and gives me enough skin to have that um, slimming effect that I'm looking for. And another thing I love about this dress is the way that it cinches me in right at the smallest spot. Nitita in her video mentioned that she needed to move the straps down. I think she's two inches taller than me. So um, it would make sense that her, her natural waist would fall lower than mine. But because I'm only five foot five, um, the straps fit exactly for me where the, um, the midriff piece and then the straps come right there at the midriff piece, this piece, because it hits right at my smallest part right here. And so if you're taller than five foot five, and I would consider lengthening the bodice. And when you lengthen the bodice, you're gonna, because you're gonna want this midriff piece to hit under your bust. And if you're tall, it's probably not going to hit under your bust. And remember when you lengthen the bodice pieces, you also need to lengthen this piece. But I think their block must be cut for someone of my proportions because straight out of the package, it fit perfectly. I didn't have to modify anything. So um, I really like that. I really like this dress. I will be making more. You're going to see more. And so for my review of the pattern Simplicity 9325, I give it a thumbs up. And um, I'm going to be making many, many more. I really enjoyed this dress. I enjoy wearing it. And uh, yeah. So I hope that if you have this dress and you've been waiting to make it up, if you weren't sure, this is a beautiful dress and it's most of it is easy. It's just fitting the, the, this inset piece into between the facing and the bodice. So steps four and step nine, just um, Natita does a great job in her so long of showing you how to do that. So I will link her channel below so that you can go check her out. All right. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and my review. If you haven't had a chance to like or subscribe, please consider doing so. And thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Bye.